Well, you have to excuse the noise in the background. I got the washing machine running, which means the generator is running. But I am in the midst of canning tomatoes, and I'm running the generator and charged up two laptops, and I, I multitask. But I'm in the, business, in the process of canning up tomatoes. And I got one more canner load that's got about an hour to go on it. But Salty Shellback tagged me about your favorite knife. Now, this is no problem for me. This is a regular Victor Knox Swiss Army knife. The emblem is missing. That finally fell off, you know. I, but I've carried one of these for years. And I always keep a new one on spare on hand. The one I carry is a field master because the field master has got the saw and the scissors and the Phillips screwdriver. You know, amongst the other regular tools. But one of the things was your favorite knife and then also what's your sharper, sharpest knife. Well, it is the same knife because I have this policy what I do. I use the big blade for my everyday things like now can of tomatoes. I was using the big blade. And earlier I cut a watermelon. I used the big blade. But I'll scrape gaskets. I'll do everything with this big blade. But I keep in reserve the little blade. And I always keep that really sharp because that's the one you know if you've got if you really need something sharp for cutting, like, you know, castrating a calf, that sort of thing. This is my surgical one, so if you ever have an appendix burst or anything, just give me a call if I've got this baby sharp. But the scissors, too, is very handy for, you know, there's a lot of times where, you, like, you get a splinter, and it's hard to get, and, you know, my hide is thick enough, I could just cut out a chunk of hide and take the splinter out with it and get at it that way. Though you do have the tweezers. The only thing that always puzzles people on these, they have the parcel hook. Nobody knows what to do with them. But I tell you, I use it actually quite often for hooking up and unhooking springs. Uh, like throttle springs, brake springs, any the regular coil springs, you can get a good grip on them with that. You know, it's, it's actually a useful tool. It's just one more in the arsenal of tools, but this is the knife. I know myself, every time I see somebody whip out one of them big knives, you know, to do a stupid little open a package or something, I actually think a little less of them. <laughs> I think what I'm impressed with, when I see somebody who's got a job to do and they have the brains to carry a Swiss Army knife to do it, because this is the tool that you should never be without. You know, my greatest fear is that sometime apes will learn to operate Swiss Army knives and they will take over the world. It's in opposable thumbs, that's the only advantage we got on them, because we can run a Swiss Army knife. But like I say, it does, you know, it impresses me when I see, because I know, you know, if I see somebody using one, then I know, ah, they have a clue. They, they understand what's important. So that's the tool. Without a doubt. You know, in fact, I've given away a lot of Swiss Army knives in my time, because if you really, if you really care about somebody, you don't give them flowers or candy, you give them a Swiss Army knife. This is the thing that can make the difference. Now, like I say, the one that I carry is called the Field Master because it's got the extra, but it isn't, you know, it's only slightly larger than the regular Swiss Army knife. But it fits nicely in your pocket and it has so many extra functions, you know, even just for that Phillips screwdriver alone. But the saw is a hell of a tool, too. You know, whenever I see people hacking away at wood with a, with a big knife, I think, well, you damn fool, get a small knife with a saw. I'm very prejudiced. I really, 
am fond of Swiss Army knives. They are a very important tool. Like I say, if I see somebody who has the brains to carry one, I think a little higher of them. Okay, that's the way a melon should be when you start cutting them and they just crack. Damn, I have good luck growing melons. <laughs> <laughs> 